One of two brothers accused of bashing an assistant police commissioner has been granted bail, despite police concerns that the young man's father had intimidated his employer. Isaiah Stevens, 18, and his brother Jay, 20, are charged with assaulting assistant police commissioner Chris O'Neill in the grounds of St. Kevin's College in Turak last Saturday, after the pair had been asked to get off a train for unruly behavior. Mr. O'Neill, who was off-duty and attending a private function at the school, followed the pair from Hangton train station until the brothers allegedly confronted him and bashed him. Mr. O'Neill, 60, suffered three fractured ribs and bleeding on the brain and was treated in hospital but has since been released. Isaiah Stevens exhaled deeply on Friday when Magistrate Duncan Reynolds found there were compelling reasons for the teenager to be granted bail. Melbourne Magistrates' Court heard he had no criminal history, had stable accommodation and possibly employment and was no longer under the influence of his brother and father, Jared. Pilgrim, who are both now in custody. Mr. Pilgrim was arrested on Wednesday after it emerged he allegedly threatened police in a string of menacing posts on social media. He is now the first person to be charged under new laws that make it an offense to intimidate a law enforcement officer, or their family members. Isaiah Stevens works in a factory and it emerged in court on Friday that Mr. Pilgrim this week threatened his son's employer and posted photographs of that man's wife and children online. Sergeant Matthew Risen said the employer was concerned for his safety and this, alongside Mr. Stevens' poor performances at work, had jeopardized the young man's ongoing employment. Sergeant Risen said police were concerned that if Mr. Stevens no longer had a job and was unable to afford to stay at his Malvernese boarding house he might be more inclined to leave. Victoria if granted bail. Mr. Stevens' mother lives in Western Australia. But defense counsel Greg Thomas said Mr. Stevens had previously shown resourcefulness in moving to Victoria and finding work and accommodation, and that the risk of him leaving the state could be addressed through strict bail conditions. If Mr. Stevens was ultimately jailed his lawyers would apply that he serve time in youth detention, away from the potential contamination of adult prisoners, Mr. Thomas said. Mr. Reynolds ruled Mr. Stevens shouldn't be punished for his father's actions. I am not of the view necessarily that it is in the interests of the community, and of Mr. Stevens as an 18-year-old man with no criminal history, to be held in adult remand for a considerable period of time before a committal hearing occurs possibly at the start of 2020, the magistrate said. Mr. Reynolds granted bail on the condition that Mr. Stevens report daily to police and abide by a curfew, live at the boarding house and not leave Victoria, not contact his brother or father, and not to drink alcohol or use drugs. It is unclear if the teenager was still in work. Mr. Thomas said Mr. Stevens' employer was prepared to discuss the job with him in the light of Mr. Pilgrim's intimidation. Isaiah and Jay Stevens are each charged with intentionally causing serious injury, recklessly causing serious injury, intentionally causing injury and recklessly causing injury. Police believe they both shaved their heads after the alleged bashing to avoid detection and found clumps of hair in the boarding house on Monday. They were arrested soon after. Isaiah Stevens must return to court on July 22 so Mr. Reynolds can review his bail. Jay Stevens has not applied for bail. He is due to return to court on September 9. Mr. Pilgrim, 49, is due to return to court next week.